he's always see Tell him you got his keys Cause you thought he needed them But he's not coming back again So he's gone Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony. If you're new here in today's video, we are doing a clean with me video and also I'm going to be sharing my cleaning routine with you guys. So I am excited to take you guys along today. So let's go ahead and get started. You just ignore that. So now you won't take back. But there's no refunds here. So you sort of hurt. It makes you see clear. You were just, you were just lost, you were just lost. So as most of you guys know, we just moved into this apartment a couple weeks ago. So honestly, I am still trying to figure out the best cleaning routine just because it is a lot more space to actually clean. And I can definitely feel the difference whenever I am cleaning, you know, the entire space. But the first thing I have been doing is starting in my bedroom and sort of working my way around. Um, I felt like in the other apartment, I would always start in like the entryway and then work my way around from the entryway way however starting in the bedroom seems to be best um, in this new apartment the best way to figure out your personalized cleaning routine is just to figure out which space you want to tackle first once you figure out your first space it sort of comes together after that I just feel like when you clean the first space it just motivates you to keep going and I always say if you're doing a cleaning routine don't let that interfere with like a deep clean so you shouldn't do your cleaning routine and a deep clean at the same time because that can get so overwhelming um, so in other words, I'm just saying like if you are planning on doing a deep clean Maybe a couple days before that do like your cleaning routine Just to make sure like your space is tidied up before you do a deep clean. Hope that makes sense Also want to mention in regards to saying you know just choose a room to start with and then go to the next room and then it just sort of works like that within your cleaning routine however I want to just say like whenever you do choose a room to start with I would recommend choosing a room that is the messiest um, so hear me out if you choose a room that is super messy and then you work your way to the room that is you know a little bit more tidied up than that room it's sort of like the snowball effect in a way and you're just a little bit more motivated to clean because you've tackled your biggest mess first so um, that's just another tip um, that works for me as well so like if I know that the kitchen is just like destroyed I'm gonna start there and then work my way around sometimes I want my bed to be made before I clean everything so just wanted to throw a few tips in there for you guys if you are trying to create your cleaning routine needing any type of motivation to get something done I would definitely love for you to subscribe to my channel I post on cleaning organizing anything to inspire you to get something done once again I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube community here on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first she just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there i also wanted to mention i'm actually doing this in the morning now sometimes i do have the energy to do my cleaning routine at night 
However, most of the time it is in the morning. I know a lot of YouTubers tell you, you know, to tidy up 15, 20 minutes before you go to bed so you'll have a nice clean space in the morning. However, you do what feels best for you. And for me, most of the time, my cleaning routine is in the morning because that's when I have the most energy. So definitely don't feel like you have to do your cleaning routine at a certain time. Just do what's best for you and what makes you feel good. So we are almost finished with the kitchen. We're just cleaning off the countertops and then I want to put the dishes away, put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher and then wipe the countertop down and then we'll be finished with the kitchen. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever. Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever. Or is there some place that will make her feel better? In the previous apartment, I put up a pill and stick backsplash. I definitely feel like the kitchen is bare right now just because I don't have a pill and stick backsplash in the new apartment yet. That is definitely something that I want to do. I just feel like it makes the kitchen a little bit more cozy and so it just sort of brings everything together. So it just looks very different when I'm looking back at the videos um, based off of the previous apartment and looking at um, how bare it looks now. Talking to myself like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my, out here on my own Watching myself put up my coffee mugs in this video I really need to figure out a better method of how to put up my coffee mugs like sort of reorganize it figure out some type of organization also need to declutter them as well so that is something that's on my to-do list to do this year just to figure out a better method for organizing those mugs <music>
today to clean my countertops I'm actually using the ever spring spray I'm not 100% sure what scent it was I'm pretty sure it might have been lemon and mint mix or something like that but um, it smells pretty good it doesn't last too long so like I always say mrs. Myers does work best but um, I'm using my ever spring today just to switch it up say to the end i want to thank you for watching my cleaning routine i hope it inspired you to create your own cleaning routine within your space and once again i hope that you are motivated to get something done today if that's just to simply make your bed i am still proud of you and i will see you guys in the next one bye